guys, welcome to Albion Fitness. And today we're going to be looking at a wonderful herb coming to us from the South Pacific Islands, known as Kava Kava. This herb is an inherent part of the culture of the people of the Polynesian Islands. And uh, we're going to take a look at it. Guys, changing the world one rep at a time. Oh yeah. So I've been using Kava Kava now for about two years and I am absolutely impressed. It really calms the mind but the body is still very active if it needs to be active. And I can see why the South Pacific Islanders use it in their culture in social settings and in sacred ceremonies. The taste though, you know, uh, for some people that might be a deal breaker but it has a very earthy taste, a very pungent taste to some. Um, but I don't mind it and the effect that you get from it is actually well worth it. So we're going to go and we're going to make some right now. So the kava is basically made in a permeable bag where to pour the water over it and kind of squeeze it out. Um, that can get messy. So uh, I found online this aloo ball that we're going to use to uh, make our kava. So first I take about two tablespoons of the kava root and I'm going to put it in the aloo ball. Close it, put it in the container with about eight ounces of water, close, and then you get the shaking. You get the shaking for about a minute. A few moments later. Boom! We pour it in our uh, coconut shell. Bula! down the hatch it's that simple and so as you can see it's not that difficult to make once you have the right tools so i'm going to link in the description below the kava root powder that i use and the aloo ball that make it so much easier though there are various variations to the kava plant the kava that is used and has the therapeutic effects that we want is the noble kava n-o-b-l-e this is also the kava that is used in the polynesian islands and so we want to make sure that we're using noble kava 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 have a long and safe history in the polynesian islands but when i initially did my research i came across information suggesting that kava could have a negative effect on the liver and after delving into it a little bit deeper i saw that it was done in some small studies in europe when kava was first exported to Europe and they were never duplicated again. And it suggested that the kava that was used in these studies were contaminated kava or non-noble kava. That being said, um, if you have any issues with the liver, just to be safe, I would avoid the kava as well. In addition to that, pregnant women or nursing mothers should not use kava kava. People on anti-depression or anti-anxiety medications should not use kava kava and kava should not be mixed with alcohol. So guys, if you think the kava kava is something that you may be interested in, it could really be a game changer. You could go from being burdened with the fires of life to taking on the fires of life in a fire dance. So the link will be again in the description below of the kava root powder that I use, the noble kava root powder that I use and the aloo ball that makes this experience a lot easier. If this video have given you any kind of benefit, please consider subscribing guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Changing the world, one rep at a time. Oh yeah.